Can you demonstrate, explain how to create a mouth interior? My character sculpts are intended to be animated. Typically, when you're going to animate a mouth, you'll want to have retopology actually done by hand. And when you do that, just make sure you have your poles in the corners of your mouth. But yeah, I can demo it really quick. Basically, we'll start with my ruler. Let's get a sphere here. Um, I'm going to append a sphere. This sphere, if you append it in ZBrush, it has a pole. You don't want a pole. You just want a polysphere. You can append a polysphere, but what I like to do is just show the gizmo and then come down here to my insert multi mesh brush, which you can get over at 3dcharacterworkshop.com. And then you click on one of these spheres up here. These are just different densities of spheres. Click on one and it just changes it. Here, let me subdivide this a couple times and delete the lower. Basically, pull the mouth in and you just want to give it, sorry, enough space in there that it forms the mouth cavity. Okay, and then you can Z remesh this whenever you want to. And you can just use the same, like click same, Z remesh. It'll Z remesh this and it'll start to create a loop around this mouth interior that you're creating. Right? And now that you have this, you can just continue to push this back and in, and you just want to make room for the teeth in there, kind of smooth it out. And then you can start closing this mouth just with your move brush, just start to bring these together. And this will cause kind of flat under here. Just want to bring this out like for a chin. And then what you can do is turn on topological and change the range to 1.5. That way you can affect the lower lip or the upper lip without affecting the other. And then you can just kind of smooth it out, smooth it out. Okay, and then you want to take this, the corners of the mouth and kind of push them in like this so it actually wraps around imaginary teeth if you have teeth in there. Just kind of bring these together. It's hard to close the corners because the topological doesn't fall off that quick. So instead you use inflate and you can just inflate this closed like this. And then you can inflate the lower lip out like this. And then you can hold down alt and push in underneath that lower lip. You can bring the chin out a little bit. Okay, so, and then if we turn on dynamic subdivision, it gives us a nice subdivision like this. See, it's already kind of a Muppet mouth, right? It already looks like a mouth. Then we can take our inflate brush and just kind of close that just a little bit more. Let's give him a smile instead of a frown, shall we? There we go, and we can tuck this in even more. And then what I like to do is I like to inflate this out like this, just around here. And there you have it. There's your mouth, but say if you wanna do like a more of a female upper lip and lower lip, I'm gonna turn this to the side like this, grab the pinch, and then you can just kind of hold down alt, use pinch and just kind of pull it along here like this. And you just wanna make your two bumps up. Whoops, let's turn on topological and 1.5 again. We don't want to accidentally uh, affect the lower lip there. Let's try that again. Sometimes it doesn't work unless, if you have topological on, but I'm just gonna use a smaller brush and stay away from the middle because pinch will actually drag the geometry around. So you wanna be careful like this. And then on the lower lip, let's bring that out just a little bit more. Okay, and then grab pinch, hold down alt, and kind of just drag it out. Too big of a brush. Let's try that again with a smaller brush. There you go. Easy lips. You can go back in and smooth it out, and there you go. So we, we also have the a correct, correct geometry for animation here, but it's a little too dense and you will want to open that mouth back up and then retopologize it to make it like actually animatable. But you do want a ring around the mouth like this. You don't want to have poles in the corners of your mouth to animate with because when they open the mouth wide, it's going to make those pinched poles apparent. You want to make it so when you open your mouth in like an O shape, it can actually go all the way around into that O shape. 